There are thousands hacking at the branches of evil to one who is striking at the root. Henry David Thoreau Elite insiders use fear and secrecy to manipulate individuals to actively or passively sacrifice to support the elite's power structure. This is the root of all evils in the world. Collectivist thoughts subverting our natural drive to be free and resonate with people and things that bring us joy and happiness. This forced coercion is an unnatural state that an aggressive narcissist uses to manipulate those that would never resonate or have relations with them. These aggressive narcissists form forced, secretive, centralized structures to contain individuals in a fearful existence. This fear contains individuals into supporting ideas and energies that do not resonate with their natural state. The indoctrination of this parasitical relationship starts at an early age and is in every facet of our lives, so much so that we no longer know what life would be like without fear or secrecy. The one thing the most powerful people in the world fear is a massive global political awakening. They fear this because they know that their power is as illusionary as the Wizard of Oz. Without the shadow secrecy and the constant fear that the elite use, the masses of humanity would eventually become empowered enough to be free of fear and thus far from being able to be controlled. Then they will start asking questions, they will inevitably find answers, and then demand justice. Without our active or passive support through debts, elections, corporate careers, and overall ignorance, the most powerful men in the world would be nothing. The elite know that their power is fleeting. They know the crimes that they have committed. They know the anger phase of humanity is coming. Judgment Day will be served for those that created, perpetuated, and profited off this debt and death paradigm. Oh, they may rationalize to themselves that it's just good business, or that no one really gets hurt, or that if they don't do it, somebody else will, or there's a sucker born every day, or this is just the natural order of things, or why can't humanity just see things my way? Beyond all these rationalizations, beyond the talking points, beyond the cognitive dissonance, they know deep down that what they have done was wrong and unnatural, and that in all their cold calculations, there was always that Six Sigma event that would end their game. They fear judgment like all men. The difference for them is that unlike the ignorant masses that were indoctrinated with sins that they did not commit, these social parasites have committed real sins, and there's always a divine retribution or a reversion to the mean for all these unnatural crimes against humanity. You cannot hide. I see you. There is no life in the void. Only death. The elite have used the symbol of the all-seeing eye to strike fear into the masses. This panopticon of secrecy and fear is really just you regulating yourself, controlling yourself for them. When you realize that no one is really watching you, and that the men that seek to judge you or strike fear into your heart are just weak magicians, once you realize that, then you can look at them in the eye, and we'll see who's fearful. While they try to keep us in fear with their one all-seeing eye, the thing that keeps them up at night is the billion eyes looking right through their illusions and judging their souls. And the grasshoppers leave. 